Hey everybody, Dorian here, and welcome to Captain's Vlog Entry 6? Yeah, we're on 6. Um, and today is September 26th. Uh, it's around 12.30. And uh, so what I'm doing today, or tonight, because I didn't make a uh, vlog yesterday because of the concert and I was just really tired, um, is I'm going to do the entire weekend in this vlog. So... As some of you who have been watching the last few vlogs know, um, Blink-182 was last night, and even if you didn't know, you probably knew Blink-182 was last night, because you guys seem like you have a good taste in music. Okay, um, so, Blink-182, that was most of my day yesterday. Um, before that, I hung out with my mom and stuff like that, but Blink-182, that's what I want to talk about, is the Blink concert. Um, it was awesome. It was, it was it was an awesome show. Uh, I'm gonna get into into a couple of things that weren't so awesome. Really, just one thing that wasn't so awesome, and it's kind of obvious since it's Tom DeLonge. But uh, um, so it was All Time Low, A Day to Remember, and Blink 182. And so it was at the what used to be the Cricket Pavilion, which is now Oxygen Pavilion. And for those of you out of state. Um, it's like an outdoor uh, pavilion. It's not really like a stadium. It has like a stage and then like some seats and then like a giant grass area. Um, and then a bunch of like vendor stuff on the sides. Uh, All Time Low was so good. <laughs> like, okay, so when it comes down to it, like I love All Time Low, I love Blink-182 and A Day to Remember I could really care less about. Um, I never really listened to them that much. They're actually pretty damn good, um, which I, I kind of assumed because they have a big fan base, but they actually are pretty pretty good. I like more of their pop punky kind of stuff, like their newer stuff, um, than their older, more screamo stuff. But All Time Low was exactly what I expected them to be because I love All Time Low, and they were like they had just like a really good re like repertoire between each other. They were talking about like going out to like El Jefe the night before on Mill and like fucking people on bathrooms and shit, and it was so. It was funny. It was cool. Um, they played everything I love, and they sounded amazing live. And it was just that alone was just worth the money, and it was just a really good show. But a day to remember, like they came out and they like fucked shit up. Like they know how to put on a show. Like that was so. It was just so entertaining to watch. Like you, you didn't even have to enjoy the music. It was just entertaining to watch. They had like. Um, like just really good like light work they had like uh these two like screens in the back shaped like uh amps and like they were doing like a lot of cool shit with those and it was just like and he was just like all over the place like it was just it was a really good show like really high energy um but the main thing was blink 182 and blink 182 is kind of what you would expect to see Blink-182. It's like, oh, this is Blink-182, this is really awesome, and it kind of feels like I'm at a Blink-182 show, but I'm sad at the same time because Tom Belong's not here. It, it really did feel like you were getting 60% of Blink. Like, you were at the show, and it was a good show. Like, don't get me wrong, they, they did a really good job, but, like, it was bittersweet. You were kind of just sitting there, and you're like, yeah, like, this is really good. I'm enjoying myself, but, like, it could be so much better not to say it wasn't already good it's just tom DeLong. like i don't believe blink has a front man like a lot of people would say tom DeLong, but they did such a good job of making it kind of everyone in the band kind of has an equal part um i mean just perfect example travis barger he's like always really high lifted and he's honestly one of the best drummers in the world like he is so fucking especially seeing him live you just sit there and you're like holy shit and they put so much emphasis on him like his drum solos like he had like four drum solos and they were all like so mind-blowing and i'm not even like like i like i love the drums i like drum heavy bands i mean rise against is my favorite band and they're pretty drum heavy i would consider foo fighters i mean david grohl is you know he started off as a drummer and like he's one of the world's best drummers and but i've always been more of like uh into the vocals um more the like the lyrics more than the vocals but the vocals as well but like it just blew my mind how fucking amazing this dude is on the drums but it was a very much it was like watching mark hoppus it and just mark hoppus 
like Travis did his thing where he doesn't say anything, but like he has a presence. Um, but Matt Skiba, like, I love the California album. To be honest, it's one of my favorite Blink albums. It, unpopular opinion, but it is one of my favorite Blink albums. And uh, he sounds great on it, but live, like, and it's not anything against him. He's a talented musician, but you could just tell, you could feel the awkwardness. Like whenever they played any of their old songs, because they played a lot of their old songs, you could just see in his face that he didn't feel comfortable doing it. Like he was, like he was living someone else's life, and you could even see it on on Mark's face. Like during some of the songs, like just this like wandering gaze. Like I know Blink isn't together because there's always been a lot of drama between the bandmates. And I know Travis and Tom are super close now, but Mark and him, I don't know what the fuck's going on between those two, but like, it's some deep shit. I was reading an article about how the song San Diego in California wasn't even a song Mark wanted to write. Their manager forced him to write it because he was like, you have to deal with these, these feelings about what's happening between you and Tom. You need, you need to express them. You don't have to put them on the album, but you need to write this song. You need to make this music to be able to get that out. Um, otherwise you're not gonna be able to progress and uh you could you could feel that you could feel like it, it was just missing a, its spirit and i think that's what tom DeLong was was the spirit of blink 182 like not just to mention his vocal range or something you can't really duplicate i mean they sang i miss you and i was like how how can you sing the song like i don't even like that song very much like i know a lot of people love it because you know it's the romantic song but like that is very 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 heavy on tom's vocals and matt skiba like he didn't like when they played their california stuff it was a great it was great they they flowed and it was natural and it felt cool when they played their other stuff matt skiba would kind of just sit there and he'd shout he wouldn't even sing he'd be like all the small things true care it just felt awkward with that said, still an amazing show, and their presence was amazing. They had fire everywhere. They had like uh, confetti, like raining thickly. They did. Uh, they, there's a song on California where it's it, it, it's just like, it's like 20 seconds, you know, like they do kind of that shit. And it was just like, uh, I want to see some naked dudes. That's why I built this pool. And that's the only lyrics. And they got a bunch of people in the audience like blow up sex dolls, like with girls and like full bearded dudes and like it was fucking awesome though i will say one of the best moments um there's two moments like this and uh let me see if i have it on my phone real quick okay yeah i don't have the video um i forgot to save it before my snapchat expired which actually that really bugs me because like i really wanted those hello darkness my oh, damn friend. Okay, well, um, it was a day to remember, and they were doing acoustic fusion. If uh, I've come to talk with you, again. they were doing an acoustic version. Um, if it means a lot to you, uh, shit, I forget the exact words. If it means a lot to you, and uh, you know, like how no one uses a fucking lighter anymore; they just use the flashlight feature on their phones. And they were raising, but like the entire fucking stadium was lit. Um, and it was just like, it was just one of those moments that like you have to be there and you're sitting there and you just, you feel so good. Um, the other time similar to that is Blink-182 did something similar, um, but fucking Mark was like, okay, we're gonna fucking do this. I think his exact story was like, we're gonna fucking do this and no one's gonna fucking believe you. It wasn't as, he, he made it a lot more grand grand than it actually was, but he's like, no one's gonna fucking believe you and you're gonna be sitting there and you're gonna, it's gonna be 40 years from now and you're gonna be sitting there with your little grandkids and they're gonna be like, no, that didn't happen. You're gonna be like, shut your little grandchild mouth, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> this happened at Blink-182 and basically they, they told everyone to take out their phones, turn on their flashlights and they turned off the entire, every light um, in the pavilion and the amount of light it was crazy the amount of light coming from the phones fully lit the entire um pavilion like it was like there was no lights like off it was like daytime almost but white light and it was it was insane like just to be there and see like 
like it was bright as day and then like when the song ended and then everyone turned off their phones it was just black it was just pitch black and like they played the whole song like that it was pretty cool it was pretty cool um and of course they ended with all the small things and then damn it um those two actually sounded more like their their actual versions and that was a good way to end it but yeah so that was blink and then today was kind of just a recovery day to be honest the blink show is kind of a recovery day too i had gone so drunk during drunk undertale like i was hung over most of that day and just exhausted um so i didn't have as much energy at the show as i wanted to and because like i didn't get much sleep last night anyways uh, i just didn't have an energy to do a video um today's been kind of like carrying over from friday so i've just been really fucking tiring out of it and i kind of want to do a stream but it's already one in the morning there's no point in streaming at one in the morning so maybe i'm just gonna binge watch anime i really need to catch up on fairy tale in one piece eat some oreos and milk oh my god i have waited so long to have oreos and milk in one piece like it, oh my god it's like the best combination i can think of probably gonna apply for some jobs tomorrow because i haven't heard back from state farm yet i i completely forgot dutch bros existed and like i worked at duncan i've worked at um coffee rush for almost two years so i have enough experience i think i could just go to dutch bros and if i apply at enough of them just get a job there um it won't pay me as much as the state farm one is so i won't be able to afford as many things like with this first state farm paycheck i was hoping to pay off any debt and bills i still have and then with the second paycheck i was gonna buy um new sound equipment so i could do stuff at conventions and have just better quality sound two uh um soft boxes for lighting for this um a new hard drive and an entire star lord cosplay but it's looking like the state farm thing might not actually go through so i need something and either way even if it did i wouldn't start till november and i need a way to pay my bills this month so really hope i can get a job in the next two weeks because if i don't i'm going to be fucked that was but anyways uh, <laughs> that was probably really loud um but anyways uh thank you for watching um, like always, if you like the video, don't forget to get share and uh, like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because, you know, like, why not? I post something every day, and if you hate me, you can unsubscribe later. <laughs> um, but thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will catch you all in my next video, which is going to be tomorrow, and it will probably be Batman the Telltale. So keep tuned for that. Later.